So this house that you see behind here, huge transformation. And now it's gonna produce our client 25,000 pounds profit, plus a return on investment of more than 30%. Want to know how? Want to know what we did? Find out and watch this video. So firstly, let me give you some context. So this is a client of ours. They're based down south. Now they were hesitant. They have invested outside of their area, but they were hesitant investing in, in the Northeast because it was a new location for them. So this is actually the second property that we found for them, had it refurbished and now tenanted for them. So end to end service. So with this particular property, we're still finishing off the works, but in the next day, it's gonna be finished off. It's already been revalued. Now let me give you a bit more history around this area. Okay, so for this particular property, it's based in the Northeast. And this is a really good area for our client and for ourselves. The reason being, it's in a strong area, high proportion of the properties are all owned outright. That's a strong indication for people that want to actually rent in this area. As well as that, it's got very good connection routes to neighboring towns and cities and employment hubs. So these are just a few of the key indicators that we look for when we're buying for ourselves and our clients in areas to invest in. So let's start off with the kitchen. This has been gutted right back. So you'll see some before and after pictures, but effectively new radiators, there's a whole new tiling, brand new kitchen. As I mentioned, we've got one or two days worth of work left to do, and it's gonna be a new worktop all around. This is a really nicely done kitchen, and it's really airy and bright and fresh. Some really good features that I like about this property is that it has an ample amount of storage space. First of all, it has a closed rail and storage area just here next to the kitchen, making it really good for visitors that come in. Plus you've got some additional storage here as well. So when we first acquired it, it did have the option of reconfiguring it to make the kitchen look bigger by taking this all out and literally making this a wall and making the kitchen bigger. But as you can see, the kitchen has an ample amount of space to then allow for this additional storage space. Now we're in the dining and living room and it's a huge airy space. You can even hear my voice. Hello, hello, hello. It's very airy, very bright. And we've got some new lino that's gone down. There's a few snags needed to be done. One of the key things I like our refurb team to do is put some mastic, effectively silicon. It goes between the laminate and the skirting board and it allows the property to keep the heat in more as well as just gives a better finish as well. So that's gonna be done later on today. Before we head on upstairs, a quick tip, and it's really affordable and cost efficient is, where you've got a garden like this one, it used to be quite dated and a bit tired. What we've done is we've put some chippings down and they cost roughly a hundred pounds a bag. And this is roughly one or two, but it just makes it brighter and more homely for the next person who's moving in. Okay, so now we're upstairs. Let me show you this, the space that's here. So we've got room number one, which will make for a nice double slash three quarter room. We've then got a nice big second bedroom. We'll fit a double bed, storage space, and, and uh, a dressing table. And then we've got another really big room as well. Again, probably similar size to the other room. And this will make for another double bed and storage and furniture as well. So we've got three good quality size bedrooms. What finishes this property off is the bathroom suite. You'll see some before and after pictures and it looked dreary, tired, but now we've got a four piece suite. We've got a quadrant shower, a bathtub, a toilet and a sink with a really good finish in terms of color and tiling. So let's get into the numbers. So our client used a buy, refurb and refinance strategy. So they bought it for 71,000 pounds. That's the price that we secured it at. 
The other cost to invest in was 7,500. That was professional fees for ourselves, for filing it, stamp duty and legals. And they're then looking to refinance it. The valuer came in a few days ago and we're expecting this property to be worth £130,000. So when we add up the purchase costs, the professional fees and the refurb costs, it comes to £107,000. We're expecting a new valuation to be at £130,000 to £135,000. So instant profit for them is around the £25,000 to £30,000 mark. Now, because they're refinancing it, they're due to leave in just shy of £10,000 and it's already been rented. Once the snags are done, tenants moving in and they've agreed to pay £850 per month. And after mortgage costs and management fees, they're going to be netting £300 profit per month. And when we factor in how much money is left in and how much net profit they've got per month, we're looking at a return of investment of 39%. That doesn't even include the instant profit and equity they get of 25 to 30,000 pounds. So I've got a key question to ask you. Would you either live in this property, rent this property, or would you just skip it? Let me know your comments below.